The four horsemen are back. And it is time for the final morning announcements of this year. JoePokeCruise.com slash 2018 slash book. There's my notes. Okay. Could you my laptop? Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to. Okay. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Paul's become very short-tempered in the last 24 hours. I'm so close to being home. I know. You're almost done. You're almost done, Paul. Principal Suburban's in a very bad mood today, students. You know what? There's been a lot of, lot of, lot of misbehaving students and truants. And... So much truancy. <laughs> We're gonna find out who TP at the taco bar. <laughs> Someone ate my car. <laughs> Which is weird because your car is back in New York. It's a hell of a throw. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got a street park at and through the exit. Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, crafting people have a whole bunch of fabrics that they are giving away to anyone who wants them. Otherwise, the ship is going to pitch them into the sea and create a felt-based reef. <laughs> we want to thank our friends at Mystery Brewing once again for the for many fine craft beers in the there is, Yeah, there is Mystery Beer left. Uh, you can get it at, at tonight's party. Uh, drink it because otherwise the ship is going to pitch it into the sea on top of the felt reef. <laughs> Uh, sweet guests, those of you in Neptune and Signature Suites, please check your mailboxes if you have not yet already, uh, regarding tonight. And that is a secret just for the fancy people. <laughs> wow, they're turning on each other. There's Hunger Games in here. <laughs> Mr. Trolls rising up. That's a reference to the Hunger Games. Yeah, no, I know, I know it was. <laughs> I volunteer! With Katniss Everdeen shoots a Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they do a very popular movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. She, never, she never wanted to be in the Hunger Games. I know, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. It's the rescue resistance. I saw, I know what it is. Wow, the school district superintendent Jonathan Colton is having a very good day. Now you know why I'm so grumpy. Shit runs downhill, folks. Uh, those of you participating in the escape boat puzzle hunt, you have until the farewell reception. Bring your answers to the Lido pool area at roughly 10 p.m., where all may possibly be revealed. Guys are like. Silent movie audience. <laughs> uh, do not forget that midnight tonight is the deadline for putting your luggage out, side, uh, out uh, off of your balconies or the deck 10 <laughs> into the sea on top of the Felton Mystery Brewing Reef, which is growing in size and complexity. <laughs> be a lot of luggage filled with corkle and Cards Against Humanity boxes. Um, uh, but tonight, if you are having the ship, take your luggage uh, down to the pier for you. Midnight is the deadline to have that out with, uh, with the correct tags on it. Uh, also, please fill out and take with you your customs forms. Uh, when we did the site inspection, they didn't have any piles of them down in the pier. We've asked for that to happen, for those of you who forget your customs forms. I did it. Uh, but save yourself the time and trouble and, and get that taken care of. Uh, that is the end of my morning announcements. Oh yes, I'm sorry. One more announcement that wasn't in my notes. I knew you were up here for a reason. Uh, the Half Moon meeting room up on deck three now contains all of our unclaimed swag from the swag bags. Uh, we do not consider this our property. Please, if you would like any of that swag, go up there and take as much as you can fit into your luggage and stuff into your shirts, uh, because... Build a raft. Yes, build a raft. Build a, a sister ship to the Westerdam and Oosterdam. Uh, because guess what the ship's gonna do with it? 
Oh no, no, probably a lot of them will just take it because there's some cool stuff up there. But oh, no, please uh, feel feel free to uh, any of the swag in the, the half one or the middle one. Uh, feel free to take that. There are dozens of ukuleles, hundreds of books. I mean, this is the weirdest version of uh, Twelve Days of Christmas. Uh, and a raw fist in a pear tree. Um, this cruise. Uh, Just let, let it finish. Let it finish. I'm, I'm still fucking close. This cruise runs. Uh, there's a lot of effort on the part of the four people up here on this stage, but in truth, the vast majority of the reason why this cruise actually runs is due to a whole pile of people. And we want to get the thank yous out at the beginning of the show, uh, and then we can commence to a rockin'. I'll get to a rockin' pretty soon, yeah. Uh, so, not only do we have a bunch of staff, which we will get to in a moment, but we wanted to welcome out on the stage, there's hundreds and hundreds of people, many of whom you never ever see working behind the scenes and, and behind closed doors to make this cruise as awesome as it is. And we wanted to thank uh, the, the Westerdam ship's crew. And we'd like to bring out uh, the department heads who are here. Uh, and come on out, all of you. Somehow I managed to make moments all about me. Thank you. I don't know if you, how well you can see this. They've got uh, sort of a little profile of the ship coming up out of the cake, or it could be a very angry dolphin in a hat. Uh, in any event, I'm going to eat, go eat all of this backstage as soon as the show gets started. Thank you all. I'm going to turn over the microphone to... Uh, Turn over the microphone to the hotel manager, Marion, who will introduce everyone else up to here on the stage. Thank you. I first want to say thank you to you all, our guests. It's been an amazing week for us uh, on the Western Am. The vibe here on board has been fantastic, and if, if the whole world could be like Joko, we wouldn't have a problem in the world. So that's awesome. Important gentleman. His name is Ruben, and he is our food guy. He's our culinary. Yeah. Yeah. Along, we have Sunil. He is in charge of your stateroom stewards, and we can show you that. Another very important gentleman. His name is Orly, and what do you think he does with a hat like that? <laughs> Mr. Robin Hood, who is our financial controller. <laughs> and speaking of finance, the gentleman next to him, his name is Donnie. He is in charge of your onboard bill. He's our chief purser. <laughs> Standing next to Donnie, uh, his name is not Jose, and he is not our IT officer. <laughs> Jose has, has been very glad to, to meet us, but he's not sad to see us leave. <laughs> Standing next to not Jose is Samantha. She is our event manager and she coordinates all the events here on board together with the wonderful Joko people. <laughs> Suzanne, and she is our manager of onboard marketing and revenue. She makes sure all the items in the shops are stocked and uh, that she takes care of all our onboard revenue. Suzanne. Moving on, we have, of course, a very important lady of our ship. Her name is Erin. Yeah. 
We need to clear something up. <laughs> Apparently on Twitter there was a fake cruise director Aaron and a real cruise director Aaron account. Neither of them are Aaron. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yeah, wait, do you have anything to say as actual real cruise director Aaron? There's only one! <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have, last but not least, that is Liz on the end, and she is our guest relations manager. Thank you. Thank you very much, Esther. Thanks so much. I have, I have too many things. That a storm, would you take my cake? That, that's it. That is a phrase that I will never learn, live to regret, I'm sure. You, you know this is a dangerous game, Paul. Yeah, I certainly do. <laughs> Here's Jonathan Colton. Well, hi, everybody. I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, listen, in addition to the uh, all the wonderful ship staff, obviously there are a lot of people on the Joko staff. Uh, I did, now I'm calling it the Joko staff. The Joko cruise staff. I'm Joko. It's been a long cruise. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh my gosh, smoke! Uh, we got a lot bigger this year. Not just you guys, but us in the organization. We used to read everybody's name. We no longer have time to do that. That's how... Uh, um, bloated and complicated and inefficient we have become. Uh, but I do want to uh, recognize a couple of people. First of all, Anna from the office. Come on up, Anna. Tara. Here's my Tara. And Bob. Brazel, one of our, one of our sound technicians. There's Mark and Jared, who is up in the booth. Thank you guys for making this sound so good. Sarah Scripture, our stage manager. Audience favorite. And Josh, you can hobble up here if you want. You don't have to. Josh, you guys, Josh did something to his foot, and now he's walking with a cane. We're, we're slowly breaking Josh. He wants attention. I'm sure it's not a real injury. Uh, thank you to all of our tech crew. They really like they, they make us look like it's effortless, but it's not. Uh, Jen Ellis and Keith Baker, Game Library, and uh, all sorts of other general awesomeness. Christine Fellows. Uh, in charge of crafting. Woo! I don't know why I've adopted this uh, this particular delivery of things, but I'm enjoying it. Town of Laredo, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! That was very fun. Oh, we didn't know exactly how that was going to go, but it went better than we possibly could have expected. Um, uh, Danielle Davis and the entire Lady Killer team. Uh, uh, interns, come on up here, interns. All of the Joko Cruise 2017 interns are however many of them are not busily working away right now. The unsung heroes. Blinking in the harsh light. Uh, and any helper monkeys in the audience, please stand up. Helper monkeys. Thank you guys. Uh, all of our sponsors, of course. Uh, our charter coordinator, Margo Beam, with Home America. Woo! Uh, She's up. Is she our here? Here she is, Margo. Margo, what is it? Oh, Margo. She's afraid of the stage, that's all right. Uh, and of course, Diana and Steve Bloss, Worldwide Worldwide Cruise, that's our, our travel agent. Come on, Diana. Drew, Drew wanted to say one quick thing here, uh, I know that she doesn't love attention um, on stage, but I just want to give a brief, heartfelt thank you from Joko Cruise to Anna Bernstein, who's our, really the voice of the home office in the, in the, the booking inbox. 
she and she hand placed every single one of your cabins on this cruise, and she's gonna do it again if she doesn't if she doesn't explode. <laughs> and whenever one of you makes a request along the lines of, I want to be near the front of the ship, but I also want it to be near the rear at the same time. She's the one who interprets those and manages to make them happen. <laughs> And also, for example, finds out where all the cash that we idiots took to Loretto went, which took a full six hours. So, just everyone, thank you so, from us, thank you, Anna, for making this possible. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you to everybody. Thank you to all of you as well. It's been a really fun year. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Liam Benosian, who is no longer with us. Uh, we lost earlier this year. Uh, he... Uh, was our, our friend and our, our business business partner and, and um, uh, he helped us he helped us build this thing from from nothing so we're very grateful we owe it all to him uh, so thanks to Leon thank you everyone thanks a lot guys now get the hell back to work. Oh, where's Matt Steve? Right there! Oh, yeah, so we have Matt Steve, the head of the Shutter Monkeys, and all of our Shutter Monkey volunteers. Thank you for that. <laughs> and uh, now here's Jonathan Colton. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hey. 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 Oh, will you take this? No, no. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Colin. You gotta introduce yourself with this, oh, right. and then okay. become performing right. Jonathan Colton on that. Okay, uh, our next performer. He's oh. He's been he's been with us a few years now. I think he's been on every single one. He's a real pro, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry Lewis movie. <laughs> He's a physical comedy guy. He went to clown school. And we're so lucky to have him. Where, he doesn't know where his cord is. Where's my cord, though? Uh, he's, uh... You might know him from, uh... Can I, I'm just gonna unplug that because that's my cord. You might know him from uh, some songs that he's written. Uh, about uh, monkeys and robots. You're, you're tying a worse knot somehow. And he, he, but he also has a lot of songs that are, I think he's maybe underappreciated for his, just his general songwriting ability. Songwriting ability. Boy. I sure hope he's ready because I'm out of stuff to say about him. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Mr. Jonathan Colton. How's uh, how's it how's it going so far, everybody? I feel like I should be hearing this guitar. Anybody have any ideas about how to make the guitar? I don't mean the audience. I'm not asking the audience to shout advice to me about making the guitar work. I don't know, you just gotta plug it in. I don't understand all that technical stuff. <laughs> 